What's up, Z Nation? It's your boy Ashton here. Today, I've got two shooter ant lineups, and the best one is free. Let's look at it. The first S tier class includes DB, Weaver Ant, Damage Dealing Wise Berserker. And you know, I was curious as to why these specific ants were in this order. So I reached out to the Ants Underground community, specifically Dust Storms and KV, and they gave me some really good advice. DB is a very powerful ant. I mean, it might look small, but this thing packs a punch. In its first three rounds, all squad attacks are 80%. Normal damage is 100%, making the DB a significant damage dealer. The DB's second ability ensures that the first three rounds, all shooter ants have a 75% chance to splash enemy lines, and normal attacks deal 100% damage to two enemy squads. When this ability is paired with Weaver Ant's third special, where each time two enemy squads take damage, and the damage will be increased and stacked. Now this makes DB a heavy hitter. And now we aren't even done with DB's front line. During the first three rounds, the front line will counter attack when receiving a normal attack and dealing significant damage to the attackers, making DB a powerhouse. Now it's time for the middle line, the supporting line, the Weaver Ant. Its first ability has a 70% chance to trigger, removing negative statuses like silence, exhaust, and debuffs from two enemy squads. It also increases their health and defense by a significant amount. So you've got DB's abilities and you've got the Weaver Ant's abilities to remove negative statuses. But that's not it. The Weaver Ant's second skill is Fiery Thrash. In the first three rounds, allows for two enemy squads to gain combat speed and have a 100% chance to double hit. It's similar to Nimple Tree Ant, but better. Tactical Counter Attack. This third ability makes two enemy squads take damage, and this damage will be increased and stacked. Each time two enemy squads take damage, they will be increasing damage. That means you get your first three rounds free and your damage is stacking. I must say, when I first got this ant, first thing I did on hatch day was I leveled him up. I got him ready. Wise Berserker's a powerhouse. You can use tons of different lineups with him. He is all damage, baby. It's first ability. After a normal attack, Wise Berserker has a 60% chance to deal 300 percent plus the special ant level ability continuous bite gives wise berserker a 60 percent chance to deal significant damage to two enemy squads and its third ability is a normal attack and skill damage increase this damage stacks because of db and weaver ant they start with a splash and normal attacks will hit multiple squads which meaning a normal attack is going to hit everyone this is also going to boost wise berserker's abilities one and two and db paired with wa helps increase DB's health by debuffing and increasing combat speed to double hit, making Wise Berserker's skills trigger again. Each time the enemy's getting hurt, my troops damage is increased. Therefore, DB and Weaver Ant cause extra hits with normal ants, causing Wise Berserker to have massive damage. Okay, there's still one more lineup to look at that's S tier. Thankfully, Dust Storms let me know how this lineup works. It's an MR, FC, and Lathy lineup. If you see this lineup, probably from a very experienced player. Now let's take a look and see how this one works. MR's first skill, when it's in the front line, it gains increased defense and has a significant chance to be immune to the first damage in each round, making this almost a counter to the first lineup. But let's keep going. Its second ability has a 50% chance to deal 250% damage to the back line, while our back line will gain the wake effect, making them immune to controls like silence, disarm, and suppress, lasting for one round. This ability will help you kill that wise berserker before the wise berserker can even get that added up boosted stack damage. Now, MR's third ability sets it above the rest. During battle, skill damage dealt by all squads will be increased, and from the fourth round, 30% of the damage dealt by our backline will be reverted to squad power, healing our frontline. That means 30% of the damage from Laffy will go into healing MR, and that, and that really helps keep MR alive. 
and Laffy, you, if you played with him, you know he's a significant damage dealer. For Micah Clara, its first ability reduces the skill damage dealt by our lines. Its second ability, Agile Dash, deals damage and increases the skill damage to the enemy for two rounds. And the third skill is a big reason why FC is on this list. This is a healer ant and a damage dealer. Both heals the front line and boosts the back line's damage, making it perfect for the second row. Now Lathy Sniffer. Sniffer? Not really sure. One of them. Lathy has a 100% chance to deal damage to a random squad and has a 30% chance to deal the same damage to a random squad. So basically you can do 100% damage to two random enemy squads. This guy is awesome and the procs, that's a good proc right there. Its second ability in rounds two, four, and six gives Lathy a chance to deal 400% damage to two random enemy squads. We get it, you're strong. Let's take a look at his third ability. During the battle, frequently strengthen increases the skill damage of its squads by 30%. Each time combat skills are used, increases its own skill attack by 25%. Also a side note, skill damage and skill attack, they're not the same thing. Skill damage is addition and skill attack is multiplication. So Lathy's second ability with his third ability would be 400 plus 35 times 1.25 plus skill attack percentage. It's just basic algebra. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. <laughs> the reason this squad works well together is that there are two units that boost the back and increase the ant strength. And the longer our front line is alive, the easier it is for the other two units. MR plus FC do healing and boosting, and Laffy does the damage. However, FC does do a lot of damage. Now there is a missing ant that I think should be on this S tier, but it's not. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But Reap Master, I, so I asked Dust Storms, what about Reap Master? And so he went a little bit more in depth, so I can't understand why it's not an S tier. Basically, it's proc is terrible. <laughs> oh, I just got something in my eye. Reap Master is a good substitute for a backline ant. Let's go a little more in depth of why Reap Master is the best ant to substitute for backline. Reap Master's first ability is that it has a 40% chance to deal 308% damage to the enemy. Its second ability has a 30% chance to deal 316.5 damage and also suppresses them for two rounds. The damage Reap Master does in these first two abilities is absolutely insane. But compared to the other ants, 30% and 40%, it's not a very good proc. This is probably why the Reap Master isn't an S tier ant. Consistency, that's key. But its third ability in rounds two, five, and seven gives Reap Master a 45% chance, which is a little bit better than 30 and 40%, to deal 250% damage to three enemy units. Now it's not as secure as Lathy's ability two, where it does a 100% chance of damage, but Reap Master is a great shooter to have. I hope this helps you understand how these skills are used to increase your wins and how you can discover what ants are gonna work for you. For me, I run a universal silent Let's build. Missing Reaper though. It's not the best, but it's what I started on. And I think I'll stay in, until I can unlock a Wise Berserker shell, a DB shell, and two Weaver Ant shells. But thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ash and Z, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Don't forget to turn on your notification and hit that subscribe button. Join the official The Ants Underground Kingdom Discord in the description. Thank you. Ashton Z. This is the Ants Underground, Underground Kingdom. Kingdom. Underground Kingdom.